Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. This is a very exciting day for me because uh, sometimes when you order things on eBay, you get lucky. It's a pretty rare occurrence now in this world of bots and people being able to snipe auctions and everything, but uh, this is an example of an auction that I'm excited to share with everyone because this is an auction that I basically didn't pay anything more than my starting bid and for this particular product which i would characterize as a chase supplement for call of cthulhu at least it is for me um, other call of cthulhu aficionados in the audience may not consider it a chase product but i definitely do because this is an example of a product that is out of print and you actually can't even buy a pdf of this product anymore and so I'm very excited to share this with all of you because this is an example of a, of a product that was on my Chase wish list for a very, very long time. And I had been casually bidding on it for a long time. But I've seen this product run all the way up to, in its original form, you know, 50 bucks, which, which for a Chase product for a role-playing game is not a big deal. But for this specific product, I've seen it go as much as $150. And so I'm just going to double check in here. It is nicely packed. This seller was awesome, folks. I won this auction on December 4th. And the seller shipped it out on December 5th. And it is now December 26th. And with, you know, the demand for postal service... In our pandemic world, many of you in the TTRPG audience realize how incredibly difficult it has been to get, you know, what I would consider normal mailing for RPG products to happen in to the tune of, you know, we're waiting weeks and weeks and weeks, weeks, especially if something has been sent media mail, which many of our products are, you know, we save on shipping by ordering products through media mail, books especially. And uh, so many of you in the audience may be waiting on your 7th edition copy of Malaeus Monstrarum for Call of Cthulhu 7th edition. And my tracking information hasn't really budged at all. And I ordered it the day of release, which was December 15th, and it's now December 26th. So normally I would have a Chaosium product right now, but I don't because of the shipping delays that those of us in the United States are all experiencing given the holiday season. And this is really well packed. Haven't told you what this product is yet, and I'm not going to put that in the description, so you kind of have to stick around to see. I, I think it'll be worth your wait, because this is not something that is easy to find uh, out in... RPG land in terms of chase older supplements, vintage supplements for the game. Let's see. I'm struggling to get it out. A sign of something that is well packed. I'm also going to go ahead and make this my celebration video for 700 subscribers. So thanks for those of you who have been around me for the long haul. And uh, here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the reveal here. What do I have? This is a copy of Day of the Beast by Keith Herber. I think some of you probably aren't going to believe what I paid for this supplement. It's in really good condition, just has a little bit of bending in this bottom corner down here. But other than that, it looks to be in really really great condition. Now the history of this product is that Day of the Beast is an update with added scenarios of the classic Call of Cthulhu uh, supplement Fungi from Yagoth. And I don't have a copy of Fungi from Yagoth because when I found out that Day of the Beast was an update, I sort of, you know, I don't have I don't have unlimited RPG funds. I mean, you know, if some of you do, more power to you, but I sure as heck don't. So I figured that if I was going to prioritize a supplement over another one, I would prioritize Day of the Beast. I see Day of the Beast quoted all the time on forums and on discussions of Call of Cthulhu. There are a lot of people who really love this supplement, which probably 
explains why it's difficult to obtain original copies of Day of the Beast. And so this is, I think, the original artwork for um, Fungi from Ugoth. And it even says here on the front cover, a reprint of the classic Fungi from Ugoth campaign expanded with three new adventures. People cite Day of the Beast all the time. Wow, this book is in really good condition. Like, stupid good condition, actually. Um, this is 1998, okay? And the original supplement, I believe, came out in the 80s. It was one of the first uh, supplements for Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, there's just a l tiny little bit of corner bending here on this edge. But other than that, this is in really good condition. Folks, this was a steal for me. You won't believe what I got this for. I got this for $29.99 plus shipping. So overall, I paid something like $38 for this. And this is one of these <laughs> wonderfully rare situations where I bid on an auction at the right time where people weren't looking. And it ended up, I ended up being the only bidder and I got it for the, the base price. Remember, this particular supplement I've seen go for as much as $150. And it is in spectacular shape. This is like practically like new quality for this. And so I am super excited to compare this to um, maybe I'll, you know, I'll pick up Fungi from Ugoth at some time in the future. I don't even think that you can get Fungi from Ugoth in PDF. Correct me. Uh, ooh, we have a nice Yithy in here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... But I think that Fungi from Yagoth isn't even available as PDF anymore. These are all out of print. And so part of the reason why I prioritized getting a hard copy of Day of the Beast is because I can't even purchase a PDF of it. You know? Um, so this is just super exciting to add to my collection. Not only because it's kind of a chase product, but I'm also just really interested in reading a lot more to see why I see this supplement quoted so often as having good scenarios in on forums and, and in other, and in other call of Cthulhu media. So, um, yeah, this is exciting and I'm excited to share it with all of you. You know, I was hoping to share it sooner, of course, but the postal service has been a little slow uh, during this time, and I'm hoping I'll be able to show you the updated version of the Malaeus Monstrarum when I finally get it. My tracking information hasn't really budged. Uh, Kevin Ross, who was a writer here on Day of the Beast, just posted on the forums that he received his copy of the new Malaeus Monstrarm, but it was a contributor copy, so it was likely sent before the actual product went on sale. And Kevin Ross apparently lives in Iowa. So I'm hoping that, uh, given that I'm in Omaha, I'll be getting my copy of Malaeus Monstrarm sometime soon. But once again, anything that is sent by media mail is fairly delayed. Also of excitement... Uh, I just finished up posting my sort of stream of consciousness thoughts on the recently released Children of Fear PDF for Call of Cthulhu. And Children of Fear is a Southeast Asian, uh, India, China, Tibet, uh, global-esque sort of campaign that was written by Lynn Hardy, Dr. Lynn Hardy, which just came out for Call of Cthulhu. And I'm kind of a slow reader given my professional obligations, especially during this time, given that I'm a teacher, but I sort of prioritized reading Children of Fear cover to cover, and it's a great campaign. It's totally my bread and butter as a Call of Cthulhu gamer, and I posted that on the BRP forums, and so if you want to go to the BRP forums and check out the blog, uh, one of the top links right now is my stream of consciousness uh, reading reflections on Children of Fear. I haven't run it yet because I very much prefer physical books to PDFs for running games. I mean, I understand that the beauty of a PDF for running games is it's a lot easier to pull artwork and handouts and stuff like that, especially since many of us are gaming digitally right now. And so, for example, the game that I'm running tonight, I'm returning to Call of Cthulhu tonight after several months of trying to slog through education during a pandemic. And I'm running uh, part of a scenario out of the Time for Sacrifice Kickstarter that came out uh, by Ben Burns. 
and his group. And I pulled a lot of the handouts from the PDF, as well as some of the dialog boxes, which I knew that I was going to need. But I also very much prefer to sort of have a hard copy of a book while I'm running a game. I don't like doing digital searches while I'm gaming. I don't like reading stuff off of a screen while I'm gaming. It's less likely to keep me immersed and concentrated on my players and getting the information that they need and answering the questions that they need answers to in-game. So I'm very uh, excited to be running Call of Cthulhu again tonight, but I'm also excited about Children of Fear coming out in hard copy, and that's an example of a game book that I'm going to be buying in the upgraded Leatherette version because I think that it's probably destined to be a modern classic. And I'll feature it here on the channel uh, when I get a chance. I have a lot more stuff to show you here in RPG Imaginings, games that I've been thinking about, games that I picked up. As I said, I've been stupid busy and stressed out professionally from teaching during a pandemic. And so uh, I haven't been on top of either of my YouTube channels, my other YouTube channels, Clutch Situation about mechanical pencils. I basically put Clutch Situation completely on the back burner and I've only been doing RPG imagining videos about once every month. Uh, my last video was uh, Cyberpunk Red, and that was the most popular video in terms of number of views per week that I've had since I started the channel. Um, and you know, I have more reviews for things like Let's Make a RuneQuest Character and my review of Masks of Nyarlathotep, but um, the Cyberpunk Red video just exploded with people who were interested in seeing the product. And so um, I have a lot more stuff to showcase on the channel, and I'm excited to share that with all of you. And so I just thought I'd do this little unboxing of Day of the Beast because this is a chase supplement for Call of Cthulhu published in 1998. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through and the unboxing and an update into what is happening in my RPG world. And uh, man, do I consider myself lucky from an eBayer perspective that nobody sniped this auction and that I got it for such a rock bottom price in such great condition. Uh, and so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and have a happy holiday, everyone, no matter what holidays you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate any particular holidays, happy Saturday to you. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for tuning in to RPG Imaginings. And, you know, subscribe if you want. Um, and uh, happy 700 subs and thanks for watching the channel. Bye bye.